All right, so this is just at the end of the uh, last episode, and we got a couple of Xenopedia entries that right at the end there, so I figured it's you know worth reading them off. We basically picked up uh, a quick little bit about weapons here and about the alien units that I basically did a civilian analysis. So interesting stuff to come. First, the rapid fire lasers. One of your engineers recently presented me with an idea for a rapid fire laser weapon. Though it is particularly, especially crudely. The fundamental of science fear appears sound. The ideal approach would be to generate a continuous beam of energy that can be swept across the battlefield. But even alien superconductors are not capable of dissipating the amount of heat generated by a sustained continuous fire. The proposed solution borrows heavily from our autokin mounted on our interceptors, multiple rotating barrels. Instead of using a rotating barrel arrangement to facilitate high speed loading ammunition, it can be used to vastly reduce the amount of heat continually fired with well, we'll generate in each individual barrel. So basically, uh, you know, a mini a mini can with like lasers. We have successfully tested two to free uh, two two free barrel prototype weapons in our laboratories. The Sky Laser is a rapid fire, fire infantry weapon designed to replace the ballistic machine gun. It inflicts increased damage and suppression at the cost of reduced ammunition capacity. Unfortunately, it still suffers recoil. I bite, in this case caused by spinning of the heavy cooling arrays rather than the recoil of projectiles, and therefore will require a strong soldier to achieve full accuracy with this weapon. The Gatling laser is scaled up to fit the cannon hard point on our interceptors, using a triangular arrangement of three powerful lasers that collectively inflict much greater damage than the conventional auto cannon. The increased size and weight of the weapon allows it to use most conventional materials in the construction of the weapon as power cells. Paradoxically, making them far easier to and faster to manufacture than our smaller cousins. As such, we have already upgraded our exist existing allocans to this new design. The only difference is you should see increased. Um, the only difference you should see is increased combat effectiveness. So, what this basically means, I can now make like these sky lasers for like you know my my troops to use as miniguns, but also my condors are now going to be using up the gallon laser instead of like the original like you know um, allocans, and this will make them much more effective in like combat. So, interesting stuff. Again. And then of course we got ourselves a little bit of analysis on the civilians. I am impressed, Commander. Quite how your men, men managed to subdue such a creature is beyond me. Now, it has been safely confined in a, in a containment tank. We have been able to perform a detailed analysis on it. The test confirmed our initial susp suspicions that civilians possess only rudiment rudimentary intelligence have bad sight, ad sight, and struggle to operate firearms. However, they are remarkable agile for such hulking creatures, and can cover ground surprisingly quickly. It's a high turn unit on these guys. They also possess astonishingly regener regenerative abilities. Unless the creature is actually dead, it will regenerate virtually any damage sustained to its body, brain included, to matter minutes. This ability seems to arise from unspecialized stem cells in a civilian bloodstream which replicate at an incredible rate and can replace complex, complex organs such as eyes or nerves just as easily as simpler structures such as muscle tissue. Clearly the volume of tissue being regenerated is too great for this to be a natural process. We believe inherent regenerative abilities are being supercharged by, by nanoparticles of ileum in an alien blood serum, providing the vast quantity of energy needed to rebuild entire blood body parts in minutes rather than weeks. This analysis has brought two tangible results. The first is, a, is an upgrade to our battle, battlefield metapacks, which borrowed, hev, um, borrowed from alien na nanotoxicity to help stabilize battlefield injuries. Sadly, full-blown tissue regeneration will require decades of genetic engineering. These improved metapacks replace our previous ones and will heal at twice the rate. The second result is a summary of known civilian weaknesses, which should cause your men to inflict approximately 10% more damage when fighting these enemies. So, basically a result of a, an, an analyzing civilian I now have the advanced like many packs, which basically I got from them. But also, um, I also know that they have like higher turn units, and um, basically with these guys, you really have to shoot them dead, or else they're not going to die. But sorry, new, but you know, whatever, it's there to know. So yeah, it's just those quick, those quick entries, but you know, it's pretty pretty important stuff. And uh, we're moving along. We'll see if how far I go. 